Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create a new branch and push that new branch from your local repository to the GitHub cloud. So what is GitHub and why we have to use GitHub? GitHub is one of the most successful source version controls nowadays in almost all the software companies uses. Learning handful of commands and keeping them handy will save you a lot of time at your workplace. So it contains a lot of features and commands. Do we need to remember all those commands? No, we always have Google and we can see the syntaxes. But knowing handful of commands will save you a lot of time. Take simple analogy. You have your phone. In your phone, we have 100 plus contacts. Don't need to remember all those 100 contacts. But at least you remember your personal phone number, your girlfriend phone number, etc. So who uses GitHub is, nowadays everyone in IT organizations uses GitHub and the list goes on like this like an IT managers, architect, QA engineers, developers, subject matter experts, everyone uses GitHub. I'll keep this videos as simple as possible and show you comments in each of the video. Now let's jump to the coding part. To show the demonstration for this command, I have logged in into my GitHub account and created a repository called GitHub Comments. And I have cloned that GitHub Comments repository into my local laptop. I am using Visual Studio Code and Bash to show the demonstration. If you see the GitHub Comments repository, I have a file called create new branch.txt. So there are two steps involved to create a branch and push it to the GitHub cloud. The first step is git checkout minus b and provide the new branch name. Minus b stands for the uh, new branch. And the second step is git push hyphen hyphen set upstream origin and a new branch. These two are required to create a branch and push it to GitHub cloud. When you clone the repository from GitHub, GitHub maintains its own uh, repository in your local laptop. To see that, right, if you type git branch, currently it shows it has two branches. One is development and master. So we go ahead and create a new branch using the command git checkout minus b and I'll give the new branch name as feature iPhone 01. Now what it says is, it says it switched to a new branch and the new branch name is shown here. Earlier we are in development, now we have switched to feature branch. At this point of time, if you go back to our, my GitHub cloud and even if I refresh, this branch, whatever the new branch I created will not show automatically into my cloud account. It is sitting in my local repository. So in order to push, from your local repository to the GitHub cloud, we have to use this command git push hyphen hyphen set upstream origin and the new branch. Do I need to really remember this command always? No. GitHub provides a way to easily use this command. So type git push and don't type anything, just press enter. So what it does is it says it's a fatal because your feature branch is not available in your cloud account. So it gives a command exactly if you compare this command and this command syntax, it, it is same. git push setup stream origin and the new feature branch name. So it automatically gives your feature branch name as well. Just copy paste. This is the syntax we use when we push your branch from your local repository to the GitHub account. Press enter. So what it does is, now it is going to take your local branch and connects to GitHub your github.com account in the cloud and pushes this branch to your GitHub account. Now when you switch back to your GitHub account and refresh the browser, now you see three branches. When you click on this drop down, 
Now you can see this feature iPhone 01 is pushed to this GitHub account. That's all in this video guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos.